I'm Victoria from Clive Coffee, and today we're going to show you how to set up the Profitech T64 Espresso Grinder. Make sure your grinder is stable on a level surface. To start, loosen the safety screw with a flathead screwdriver. Install hopper. Add a bag of your favorite coffee. Pull the lock slide. And turn the grinder on. Now we'll manually grind a small amount of coffee. Press and hold either button to use the manual grind function. Get your hands dirty, feel the ground coffee. We're looking for a texture that falls between table salt and flour. Out of the box, our T64 was set far too coarse than you will need to make espresso. This means it may require several adjustments before you near the ideal grind size and texture. If the coffee looks and feels very coarse like cornmeal, you'll have to adjust the grind finer. If the coffee looks and feels overly fine like powdered sugar, you'll have to adjust the grind coarser. Make a maximum of two full turns of the worm drive for these adjustments. We ended up making around 11 turns total, but this will prevent the grinder from getting jammed. Now we're going to use the timed function of the grinder to help dial in the coffee. The goal is to get a full portafilter basket within the recommended time for your grinder. To program the timer, press both buttons on the display. Immediately press down to access setting 2. Quickly press the plus button to enter the timer. We recommend setting the timer for 6.5 seconds as a starting point for a double espresso. If the ground coffee is overflowing out of your basket, adjust your grind setting finer. If there is barely any ground coffee in your basket, adjust the grind setting coarser. Your first few shots will likely need a fair amount of adjusting. Grind a fresh, full dose of coffee into your basket. Compress the coffee with your tamper. Make sure the tamp is level and that you are applying even pressure. Insert your portafilter and start your shot. We are going to be watching for the time of the first drips of espresso. We recommend either setting a timer or watching the display screen on your espresso machine. We're looking for the first few drops of espresso to drop between 6 and 10 seconds. If they fall outside of the window, we'll have to adjust the grind setting. If the shots start dripping before 6 seconds, the final espresso will likely taste sour and watery. Adjust to your grind setting finer. If the shot starts dripping after 10 seconds, the final espresso will likely taste overly strong and bitter. Adjust your grind setting coarser until the first drops fall in the 6 to 10 second window. At this step, try to make gradual changes instead of large shifts. Making smaller changes at this step will help you hone in the flavors instead of leaving you to chase drastically different variables. Grind a fresh full dose. Tamp evenly with consistent pressure. Insert your portafilter and start your shot. Now we are going to be watching for the full shot time. Ideally, we're looking for a shot time between 25 and 30 seconds. If your shot falls outside of this window, you'll have to adjust your grind setting. For this kind of fine tuning, make quarter or half turns to avoid over adjusting. If the shot takes less than 25 seconds, the espresso will likely taste sour or thin. Adjust the grind finer. If the shot time takes more than 30 seconds, the espresso will likely taste bitter or overly strong. Adjust your grind setting coarser. It's finally time to start tasting your espressos. Prepare and pull a fresh shot of espresso and taste. If you want your espresso to have more body, try increasing the amount of ground coffee by increasing the time on your grinder. Alternatively, you can adjust your grind setting a little finer. If you want your espresso to be less sour, try adjusting your grind size finer. Alternatively, you can use a little less coffee by adjusting your timer down. If your espresso tastes balanced, sweet, and full-bodied, your grinder is dialed in and ready. If you have more questions, we're here to help. And please subscribe to see our latest videos.